To put it simply, this one Serato feature I'm about to tell you about will change your life. What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So I wanna make a video about this because I recently kind of rediscovered this feature and started like implementing it in my workflow. And man, it's just, oh, like I don't know how I lived without it. And off the bat, I don't know if virtual does it. I don't know if other programs do it, okay? I only know about Serato, so you gotta do your own research. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's a Serato exclusive thing because we all know what happens when I do that. But anyway, let's get right into this. The feature is called Beat Jump, and it's pretty damn cool. Let's go over here to my computer so I can give you the lowdown. All right, so I want to jump over here to my desk so I can have the Serato in front of me so I can kind of show you guys what it is, right? But before we get into it, I want to explain what this does. So when you analyze your music, you have to make sure you analyze your music. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But when it has all the BPM set right and the grid set, you can use the beat jump feature to essentially count the beats for you. Normally, when you download a song and you mark your cue points, right, you want to set your cue points for what, like eight bars before, four bars before, one bar, whatever your, whatever your mixing style is, whatever kind of song it is, right? You want to set your cue points. Normally, you'd have to listen to the song, count the beats, right? Like, all right, one, two, three, and then set your cue points that way, and it just takes a while. Some songs, like, it's just, it's hard to, like, count it. It's, it's a weird beat, and you, you don't really understand. This eliminates all the the bullshit because it does it for you. Check this out. All right, so I want to use these three songs as an example. First of all, make sure you analyze your music. You can do that by just selecting any group of songs, any amount of songs here, and you just drag it to the analyze files and it'll analyze it for you. Once that's done, you can use this feature. So we'll start with You Belong With Me. Uh, it's a Taylor Swift, Jason Janai little uh, mashup here. Shouts to Jason Janai. Now right down here are the beat jump features and you can do anything from like a half a beat, a quarter beat, eighth beat, holy shit, all the way up to 32 beats right here. Now keep in mind, every bar has four beats, right? So a bar is a four count. So when you look at 32 beats, that's eight bars, which is the average length of a chorus, right, for mixing. If you do 16 beats, it's four bars and so on. I typically do my cues with four bars, right? So I'll be four bar and an eight bar cue, depending on how I'm mixing. If it's hip hop or if it's a certain song, it's not an intro edit, sometimes I'll do one bar, two bars, whatever, it's situational. But for the most part, I like to have a four bar and an eight bar. Sometimes I like to mix halfway through a chorus. Sometimes choruses are shorter and you need the four bar. Sometimes I like to mix throughout the entire course. So I do an 18, eight bar. Sometimes you need a 16 bar if you're mixing house and you're doing like slow mixing and whatnot. You have all the options right here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So essentially the first thing I do when I get a new song, I got this Jason Jan I edit here, is I wanna find the beginning of the song. So this looks like it's a beat, right? That's a beat. So we wanna go to where the song begins. Right there, that's where it begins, right? So we always, you wanna put a cue right where that song begins, right? That's the only thing you gotta find. Now once you have that, now you can just basically set your cue points. I like four bars, like I said, so I'm gonna click 16 here, and then you just click the beat jump backwards. Boop. There's your four bar cue, four bars. Then jump back one more time, bloop. There's your eight bar cue. Eight bars, and then if you want, 12 is kind of weird, but if you want to go to, uh, you know, 16 bars, you want a real long cue, boop, 16 bars. And now you have your shit set. Don't got to worry about nothing. That easy, right? We know that that's going to be exactly four beats before Taylor starts singing. Now, let's do another example. Let's look at like Bodak Yellow, right? A little slower, right? It's a trap song, essentially, kind of like a slower kind of trap beat. And these trap songs are one of the things, like, they kind of mess me up every once in a while because it's like, they all have like a 32-bar intro, you know, because it's like a slower beat. You don't realize how long the intro is until you mix it, and then, like, you got, like, you know, four bars of uh, straight-up, uh, you know, instrumental, and you're not, you didn't phase it right. So we're going to prevent all this shit from happening. So same thing. Let's find where Cardi starts speaking. Right there. So that's the first beat of the song, right? Right? That's the first beat of the song. So we got that marked. 16 bars, I want to do, um, or 16 beats. So I want to do four bars. So we're just going to beat jump back. Bam. Four bars. And then we're going to beat jump back one more time. Bam. And I got eight bars. Now, let's get into something a little more tricky. 
How about getting jiggy with it? Now, this is another great way to use this feature because, you know, if there's a song where you're having trouble counting it, it's just weird. Like, you want to mix it from the beginning, but, like, you can't get the timing right. It just doesn't make sense in your head. Like, this was one of those songs. Like, I literally could not get the timing right to the song until I used Beat Jump and realized how many beats it were. I mean, as crazy as it sounds. Like, look at the intro. This is the original version of getting jiggy with it, right? So, it, it does that thing. So, I wanted to be able to mix this song um, from that, like I want to be able to play that and then drop the beat. I just think it will sound good. You know, da, 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 doom, da, doom, doom, boom. So I basically have to like start the mix a little earlier than I would because of that part. But it's like, how do you figure that out, right? Well, same thing. So you want to go to where the song begins. So, so that's the first beat of the song, right? The first beat of like the instrumental of it. So I'm gonna put a, a cue point there. And then I'm essentially gonna use the beat grid. I'm thinking maybe it's two bars, right? So we'll do eight here. Nope, it goes to nowhere. So it's not two bars, let's try four bars. Right to the beginning, holy shit, there we go. So it is, or not four bars, four beats. So it's one bar. So that's just, it's just a one bar intro. So I'm gonna put one bar. So now I can think of it as four beats. It's just four beats. So when I go to mix it, I have to mix it starting on the eighth bar of the chorus, if it's an eight bar chorus, if that makes sense, right? Then same thing, uh, you wanna go to when the lyrics start, cause it's like an intro. I think it's an eight bar intro. Oh. But don't start with the lyrics here. Remember that, right? You don't wanna start like on your mark. You wanna start with the first beat. That way it's like on time, right? So this is gonna be the first beat here. Right, so that's your first beat. So that's gonna be the start. Then I'm gonna go back to 16 uh, count, so it's four bars. We're gonna go back four bars. That's a four bar intro. And then that's our beginning, which I'm assuming if we jump back one more. Yep, and it's eight bars. And bam, so we got one bar, eight bars, and four bars, kind of doesn't make sense, but I understand because that's one bar to the beat, you know? And you gotta mark your cue points so they make sense for you. But that's essentially how I do all my music. So when I get new music in, I always utilize this feature to make sure all my cue points are set and I'm good to go. Preparation DJs! Pretty crazy, right people? I use this every day. I hope you do as well. I hope this video was very, very helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you at the next one.